Yesterday, we explored the original Star Wars story for Anakin Skywalker, as George Lucas revealed a very different version of the Star Wars mythos that we know and love. One where Darth Vader was never set to be Luke Skywalker's father, and Anakin was always going to be a hero of the Jedi. A hero that would be eventually hunted down and killed by Darth Vader, as one of the last Jedi in the galaxy. If you guys would like to see the full details on that video, and the full original story of Anakin Skywalker, I will link it in the description down below. But today, we'll be discussing another thing that George Lucas recently revealed to us, that being the original story for Luke's sister. In the original drafts of Empire Strikes Back, as well as Return of the Jedi, Leia was never set to be Luke's actual sister, and Luke's sister was set to play a much different and much larger role, not in the original trilogy, but in George Lucas's vision of the sequel trilogy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the original story for Luke's sister. In Empire Strikes Back, when Luke ultimately decides to abandon abandon his Jedi training and venture off to help his friends, Yoda says that there is another. Of course, after first Obi-Wan says that that boy was our last hope. This is Yoda implying that there is another Skywalker out there, and that if Luke fails his mission, they will have to seek her out. However, if we take a really deep look at it, it doesn't make a ton of sense, as if Luke fails his mission, Leia too will be killed by the Empire, therefore letting us see a little bit of the original plans for Luke's sister in the sequel trilogy. George Lucas would officially revealed that Luke's sister was never actually going to appear in the original Star Wars trilogy, but in the sequel trilogy, being 7, 8, and 9, she was going to be one of the key players and people to show up. George Lucas explained that Luke Skywalker was always set to be successful of turning his father back to the light side of the Force and killing the Emperor, with Leia being confirmed not to be his sister, but again, simply royalty. As we explained yesterday in the story of Anakin, Skywalker was set to appear to his son Luke on Dagobah during his training, and it was going to be here that Anakin was going to reveal to Luke that he had a sister. However, again, the sister was not going to appear until the sequel trilogy. With Return of the Jedi, Luke setting out to find his sister, and that's how Jedi would have ended. Then, of course, George Lucas was going to do the prequel trilogy, but eventually revisit this plot that he established at the end of Jedi. Episode 7 was going to follow a much older Luke Skywalker training a new generation of Jedi, having been unsuccessful for several decades in finding his sister. It was was going to be in Star Wars Episode 8, in fact, that Luke Skywalker's sister was going to officially appear, having it be revealed that the two of them were essentially on opposite ends of the galaxy. We're unsure of a lot of the character details about Luke Skywalker's sister, or as George Lucas frequently called her, the other one. Although we don't know a lot about the sister, we know that Luke Skywalker was actually going to train her in the ways of the Jedi, as apparently she was going to be even more powerful than Luke, and it would be Luke's duty, as Yoda did to him, to pass on what he had learned training his sister to continue the Jedi way. It was also the original plan in Star Wars Episode 9 for the Emperor Palpatine to return, just as we're going to see in The Rise of Skywalker, and Luke, in Episode 9, would eventually give his life to stop Emperor Palpatine, with again his sister carrying on the lineage of the Skywalker, and becoming the new Grand Master of a Jedi Order. There's a ton of parallels in the actual story for Star Wars Episode 9 that we're getting in The Rise of Skywalker, as is George Lucas's original sequel trilogy, with Rey appearing to be someone extremely powerful, just as Luke's sister would have been. As far as exactly why George Lucas decided to make Leia the actual sister of Luke Skywalker, this is what people have speculated. George Lucas probably realized that if he left the immediate story incomplete at the end of the third film, and so incomplete that the story was only one quarter of the way finished, and he suddenly lost all of his actors, he would be faced with a monumental disaster. A disaster that would be impossible to ride around, and therefore, George Lucas decided decided to conclude the original trilogy with Leia being Luke's sister, tying it all very nicely in a bow as the trilogy stands on its own. But what are your guys' thoughts on this, and the original plan for Luke Skywalker's sister in Return of the Jedi and the sequel trilogy? Would you have been interested to see what eventually played out in George Lucas's sequel trilogy with his sister, or are you ultimately satisfied with what we've gotten? As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching, may the Force be with you, and have a great day.